There's a storm out on the ocean, and it's moving this way. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Oh, there's a If your soul, if your soul's not anchored in Jesus, oh, you will surely drift away. Oh, there's a storm out on the ocean. Oh, and it's moving. It's away. If your soul. If your soul and get in Jesus, you will drift away. Oh, drift away, Lord. Drift away, Lord. You will surely drift away. If your soul. Oh, you will surely drift away. 
Because I'm a soldier. Give me the honor of the Lord. I'm a soldier. Give me the honor of the Lord. I'm a soldier. Give me the honor of the Lord. I'm a soldier.
to give him the praise. I got to give him the praise. Oh, yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. Yes, I praise him. into your house and worship and praise your name. We thank you for all the blessings that you have given us this day, this week, and this year. God, we're grateful people, and we've come to tell you thank you. Thank you for another day. Thank you for another minute. Thank you for another hour. We are appreciative of what you've done for us in our lives. God, we come to tell you thank you for another way that you've made. Thank you for another door that you have opened. Thank you for sparing our lives to see another day. God, we're grateful people. Hallelujah. Now, God, in the name of Jesus, as we proceed in this service, do what you've done so many times before. Show yourself God. Heal, set free, and deliver. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Move by your power and by your spirit. Throw your weight around in this place. Let someone be set free today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let someone's heart be changed. Let someone's mind be changed. In the name of Jesus, call someone to ask the question, what must I do to be saved? In the name of Jesus, call someone to turn from their ways. Come back to you in this service. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let someone be filled with the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, even those that are watching, do a work on them at home. In the name of Jesus. Do these things and we'll be so ever careful to give your name praise, honor, and glory. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 35 through 38. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, you, may to re you might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, may, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto predation, but of them that believe to the soul saving, to the saving of the soul. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and put your hands together. Praise the Lord, everybody. We ask that you join in with us. The song of praise says, I'm chasing after you. No matter what I have to do, because God, I need you more and more. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I have to do, because I need I need 
I'm chasing because I need more and more of them. More and more of them. Hallelujah. 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 It is, if you ever um, speak to someone who, who have had an addiction of, of some sort, they said they're always chasing that first high. They're always chasing after that, that first thing, right? Trying to get back to something that they'll never, never get. So they go after it more and more. I'm addicted to Christ just like that. I need more and more. This is a, this is a good addiction. It's a good addiction. Hallelujah. Woo. They're chasing after a high that they'll never reach again. But I've got a promise from God that if I keep chasing, there is laid up for me a crown that the righteous judge. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Certainly we do honor the spirit of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. They're chasing after something that they can't obtain. But like Paul said, I press towards the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Going after something that I can get. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Lord Jesus. They, when, when, when you look at an addict, 
They have little ticks that they do. You know, they might scratch or they might do like that. My addiction is my hands go up. Whew. My, my, my tick is that I'll open my mouth and say something. I might move my feet. I might jump a little bit because I'm addicted to the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm addicted. said there's no high like the most high and if you just get a little taste scripture said it this way oh taste and see that the Lord is good 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 thank you Lord Jesus There's a little weight going on. Seems like there's something that's wrong or something on here, but the scripture has the scripture has a solution for it. The Bible says to put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Push yourself into giving God thanks. Something stand on your feet. Lift up your hands. Open up your mouth until it leaves you. Tell him thank you until that heaviness leaves. Bless them until that heaven is leave. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, let us exalt his name together.
never my intention to try and push you into a praise. But praise is always in order. It's always in order. When you when you when you're at home and you're not feeling so well, you get into a, a, a down place. The, the scripture says, this ain't Derek saying, the scripture says, put on the garment of praise. Lift up a praise and see won't you feel better. Think about what he's done. See what you see what you feel about. The fact, the fact that you're walking around in your house, you should lift up a praise. The fact that you got the activity of your limbs, you should lift up a praise. There it is. Just because I can't do it, you should lift up a praise. Because I've got the ability, because I've got the ability to do it, that's the reason I'm doing it. Some people can't talk, so since I can talk, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Because I have the ability to do it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Got the ability. I'll do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Whew. Some will tell you, don't ever forget what the Lord has done for you. But the song said it best how can I forget? Every, uh, how can I forget what the Lord has done? Everything that I do should be a reminder of his goodness and his mercy. Everything that I do, everything that I have, everything that I look at should be a reminder of his goodness and his mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, clap those hands one more time. Certainly we do honor the spirit of Christ that works in us, and I pray in you. We give God praise for our leader, Pastor Raymond Davis III. Thank God for Lady Davis in her absence. Now we got some awesome leaders. We have some awesome leaders, and we thank God for them. Thank God for our ministerial staff, our deacons, everyone in their respective places. We're grateful for all of you. Grateful for those who are watching by Facebook and who will re-watch it on YouTube on Tuesday. I say it every Sunday. I go back and watch and it's great online, but there's nothing like being in the presence. There's nothing like being here. So if you're anywhere close to 701 US 301 South, come through these doors, come through these doors. That's an open invitation. You just stop by and we'll make you feel at home. Amen. We want to acknowledge all those who had a birthday today or this past week. Anyone who had a birthday today or this past week. Yes, yeah, Sister Blue. <laughs> Lady Davis is not here, but Lady Davis celebrated a birthday. I believe that they're birthday twins, isn't it right? Yeah, yeah, they said she was her birthday. Uh, so let's let's celebrate them this morning. Come on. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, we love you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, oh happy birthday.
watching and you're celebrating a birthday and you would like for us to acknowledge you, please email us at bday at gecchurch.net, bday at gecchurch.net, and we will acknowledge you as well. We're going to proceed with the service and at this time have our announcements by our sister. Wanda. Praise the Lord, everybody. And I'm saying praise him because he's worthy. Thank God for seeing our sister Walena Dunson this morning. The prayers have been going up. And I was giving God a praise for you. Just to see you in the number one more time. God is good. He is a healer. And we know it. We know it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The R3 Leadership Conference is this week here at Great Expectations Church, Dillon, South Carolina, on Thursday and Friday, April the 28th and 29th, 6.30 to 9.30 p.m., and on Saturday, April the 30th, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. On Saturday, the closing will be the conference worship service at 10 a.m., which is open to everyone, even if you are not a, a conference attendee. So please come out on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Ministry leaders and aspiring ministry leaders will be able to reimagine, realign, and reignite the mission and vision God has given them in light of the adjustments required in this new normal. Plan to be a part of this unique, first-of-its-kind conference by registering on our website at gecdillon.org. On Tuesdays and Thursdays is our morning prayer call at 6 a.m. You can dial in at 425-425. 436-6200. The access code is 730-323. On Wednesday night, join Pastor Davis for our Bible discussion. You can join us here in the church at 8 p.m. or watch on Facebook and on YouTube live. And Sunday morning at 10 a.m. is our morning worship where we come in and give God a praise together. So come in and feel the anointing of the Lord in this place. It is awesome. Can't, and it makes me get through the week. It's just something about being in God's house. It takes me through the whole week. So come and join us. You're welcome, everyone. We thank you for your attention. We ask you to please govern yourselves accordingly. Service in the hand of Elder Harris. It is time for the word of the Lord. Come on. Clap. It's time for the word of the Lord. He said every Sunday, David said, Thy word, O Lord, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. It is what we need to help us get through the rest of the week. So after the praise team comes and have a selection, the next voice you will hear is our pastor, Raymond Davis III. God bless you.
Cause you deserve it. You deserve it. Yes, you do, Lord. You deserve it. All of the glory. You deserve it. All of the honor. You deserve it. All of the glory. All of the glory belongs to everything that I have, Lord. It belongs to you. All of the glory belongs to you. All of the glory belongs to you. All of the glory belongs to you. Everything that I have, it belongs to you. Everything that I have, you deserve it. Yes, you do, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. All I'm on my bed and knees. You deserve it, Lord. The glory. I give you the glory. I give you the glory. Lord, I thank you. Because you the glory. For all the glory. And all the glory. And all the honor. All the honor. It belongs to you, Lord. It belongs to you, Lord. It belongs to you, Jesus. All the honor. And all the praise. You deserve it. Yes, you do, Lord. I give you everything I have. I'm on my bended knees. You, you. Yes, you do, Lord. You deserve it. All of the glory belongs to you. Oh, my hallelujah belongs to you. Everything that I have, my hallelujah belongs to you. Your hallelujah belongs to him. My hallelujah belongs to you. I'm going to say it again. Oh, my hallelujah belongs to you. Oh, my hallelujah belongs to you. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. or not, he deserves it. Yeah. Just because you may have you may have half done it, he still deserves it. Oh God, I thank you. You may be trying to pay catch up, but he still deserves it. Everything within me belong to you, oh God. You're so worthy. When I wasn't even acknowledging like I should, you still deserve it. Yeah. And even if today you say, Lord, I'm, I'm living holy, I'm saved, you he still deserve more. There's no limit to what we owe God for what you offer him. One more time, give God some glory. Give God some praise for the song of worship. Hallelujah. May be seated in the presence of the Lord. We thank God for this day. Hallelujah. See, somebody thinking about what he's already done. What he's already brought you out of, the wage is already made, and you saying, "Go, oh God, you do, you deserve it, Lord. You, all the glory belongs to you. All the honor belongs to you. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about what you did. Uh, thinking about when I prayed and you heard me. thinking about when I was troubled so in my mind I was weeping in my own house troubled in your own home not resting at night but Lord you brought me through it and all the glory and honor belong to you and all the praise glory to God he's healing some of you right now I believe by the power of the Holy Ghost, he's healing some hearts right now. He's bending some hearts right now. Hallelujah. Some broken places, keeping you together. It's him that's doing it. You're broken. But it's not the king's horses or the king's men that put you back together. Hallelujah. You're not hunting that dump there. Hey, you a child of the king. I want to say to somebody this morning, hallelujah, you're not too broken that God can't fix you. You're not too torn apart that he can't heal you. You're not shredding too many pieces that he can't mend you together. Said in his word, he wouldn't leave you hopeless. That's what he said. When he said, I will provide a way of escape. I'll provide a way for you to live. We honor the Lord today to everyone in their respective places. Good. And we just owe him so much. And I just think it's good, it's all right to remind you what you owe God. You should already know, but amen, maybe you need a reminder. Amen. This morning, the elder was telling you about, the word was saying, put on a garment of praise. 
Amen. You come to this place, you come to God's, I don't care what happened during the week. I'm, I be, I'm, hallelujah. I don't care how bad it may have looked. If you come in and offer God an authentic offering of your heart to him, he'll lift that weight. I'm not going to come here and be bound. You devil, you're not going to talk to me in the pew. You're not going to talk to me in the seat the whole morning. No, I come here to be free because who we set free indeed free in him. Don't be whispering nothing to me, devil. Whisper nothing to me. I'm free. Song say, praise the Lord. I'm free. I'm no longer bound. He got out of bullshit. Hey! I ain't got nothing holding me down. No shackles on my feet. No bonds on my arms. The freedom to somebody this morning. The liberty, the freedom that you seek is in Jesus. Do you hear what I'm telling you? The liberty, the freedom, the freedom that you seek is in Jesus. I told you a few weeks ago, stop looking everywhere else. After I've tried everything else, after you tried everything, try Jesus. I ain't sure if everything gonna work, but I know Jesus gonna work. God is good. Thank God for the power of the Holy Ghost. Those of you that are here, those of you watching, those that desire to be here and can't be here, amen, we pray God's will over you and bless you. Amen. Thank God for Sister Dunson being back in the house. Amen. We love her scared but the Lord fixed that too yeah oh God I thank you Jesus well, what would have been an emergency situation God fixed that too let me get right in here I am the Lord that heal of all thy diseases yeah. hey God I thank you
Bible said, quench not the spirit. You trying to sit there, hold it tight? You trying not to move it? God already moved. I dare you to, to wave your arms. I dare you to open your mouth and see, well, God move. Hey! Say, don't quench it. Hallelujah. Amen. He's worthy. You're not doing any more than what he's doing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. This is what we come for. That's why we're here. If we do try to be time, I ain't in a rush. And I'm going to hold back on God. Hallelujah. But I told you before, you only you are accountable for what you owe God. I can't pay. I can't pay your I can't pay what you owe God for you. You know, somebody said, Well, I'll take care of that bill for you. I get your dinner today. I get your no, when it comes to what you owe God, I can't, there's nothing that I can offer to substitute it coming from you. As a matter of fact, he don't want it from me. I got my own to give. He wanted it from you. Amen. So we give God glory. Give God, one more time, give God some praise. The song of worship. We thank the Lord for, again, all the ministers of the gospel. Giving God glory and to the deacons, everyone in respective places, to my wife, Lady Davis. We thank God for all of you. Amen. I'm just happy. Hallelujah. I ain't just saying that, man. I'm happy. Hallelujah. The fact that I got up this morning and I felt him. Uh, I got and I feel him right now. That's enough. That's enough. I don't say another word. I can feel him. Uh. Hallelujah. Sometimes it ain't gonna come out all eloquent and sweet. Uh, you just get on something, get away and just holler and go away. Make some noise as the word of God tells us to do. Amen. So we give God glory. Give God praise. I thank you for what he's doing in your lives and what we're believing him to do. Yeah, believing him for that healing, believing him for that child. Ah, hallelujah. Believing him for that family member. Believing for you to get over that grief that got you weighed down. Believing you for that better a better financial opportunity to take care of your family. Believe in him all for that. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. Every groan I made, he heard. He lifted me. Now I'm safe. In him. 
Sweet spirit in its place. Hallelujah. So, thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hey, God, you can pray. Thank God for doing what he said. Uh, he did it again. So we thank God for what he's saying for this day and all that the Lord is doing. Continue to keep us lifted in prayer. Amen. Even as we endeavor to do the works of the Lord, even throughout this week, praise the Lord. We give God glory. And today, just give me a few minutes. Amen. Give me this word. Pray for that. It'll help you. Amen. And I pray and hallelujah. Oh, God, I thank you. Oh, God, claim your deliverance in Jesus' name. I claim your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Ah. I have things that bother me too, but I believe God. Yeah, just because I'm the one always having to pour into you. I got things. Yeah, in my life I'm dealing with the Lord. The enemy trying to block things and the things the enemy trying to bring to my mind. But I'm believing God. We all got to believe. We all got to believe. My position, my title, my path, that don't make me have to believe any less than you. My requirement for righteousness is a commitment to God. It's just the same. We all got to believe. Will you believe with me? Hallelujah. We give God glory. We give God praise this morning. And praise the Lord for just for a few minutes. If you would turn to Luke, the 19th chapter, if you have your Bible. Luke, the 19th chapter. And I'm going to begin reading at the fifth verse, familiar story that's told, amen. I'm going to be reading at the fifth verse, and we'll give you some, some background on that, amen? St. Luke, the 19th chapter, and verse 5, I'll be reading down to verse 10. Read on this wise, and when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide in thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. Lord have mercy. He couldn't do no right in their eyes. And so, and Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, God, I thank you, unto him, this day is salvation come to this house. For so much as he also is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that 
which was lost. Hallelujah. I keep telling y'all that's why he came. Hallelujah. And so, praise the Lord, let me give you this, praise the Lord. Uh, this familiar passage has often been told to children. I remember my own son came and telling me, Zach, the calf was up in the tree. And we talk about him climbing into the tree, but we don't often discuss the significance of, and the depth of this encounter with Jesus. And so, the calf was a small man in stature, but he was a wealthy tax collector who hadn't been very principled in his business dealings. Yeah, and so the Bible even called him rich. Yeah, somebody didn't like him because he was rich and he was tax collector. And so due to his occupation, he was not very well liked. And he had heard that Jesus was passing through Jericho after healing and performing all these miracles. And so to this end, the Pharisees thought, Jesus had no business having table fellowship or eating with a publican or a sinner. In other words, why is he eating with sinners? We always talking about Jesus, but did we pay attention to his actions? Oh, hear me on that. We're always talking about Jesus, but did you actually pay attention to what he did? And so I want you to think about how divine this orchestration was on this encounter. And then uh, I remind it now, talking about Jesus coming into the city. And so uh, we always hear about the sycamore tree, praise the name of the Lord. And this particular, I uh, did some studies and uh, there are different kinds of sycamore trees, praise the name of the Lord. Some of European, some American, American and some, praise the Lord, in this case was a reference in the mulberry family. And so these trees can be very tall. And so this man was not sort of statue, but this one they were plant by this roadside, and it had uh, wide branches, and so it was easy, hallelujah, I'm going somewhere, for him to climb. And Jesus was coming, and look, even with this tree, Jesus, God was making provisions for Zacchaeus to see Jesus. I'm going somewhere. And if you're hearing me today, hallelujah, God has made provision, hallelujah, for you to see him, for you to feel him, for you to know him, for you to make contact with him. So just as this tree happened to be in the right place at this time for him to get over high and see him and look at this, hallelujah, the man that everybody said, I don't want nothing to do with, the man everybody claimed was a sinner, the Bible said Jesus looked up and saw him in the tree and look, Jesus invites him on himself to Zacchaeus' house. He didn't say, Lord, will you come? He said, this day I'm going to go be in your, I'm going to go abide with you in thy house. Let me tell you, when it gets there, the chaos begin to confess. Lord, all that I had done, I'll give back fourfold of what I had. And the law had said for you to give back and to give 5% more of that. If you had done, it did, got anything by mis a mischievous ye by means of cheating, let's say it that way. And so he would say, I give back half of what I got and give back fourfold. Hallelujah to what the Lord is saying. And so he was saying, yeah, Jesus said to him, look after he confessed, he said, salvation has come to this house. And I want you to think about a little bit today that salvation wants to come into this house. Hallelujah. Not just the natural building that he came into, but salvation to come into this house. So for some of you today, you may be saying, well, I guess I'll let him come over. God, I thank you, Jesus. I guess I'll let him come over. G-U-E-S-S. -S. And so in the reading, I said where they said they was upset that Jesus was going to be a guest, G-U-E-S-T, at Zacchaeus' house. And you started off by saying, I guess I'll let him in. But if you will allow the Lord Jesus Christ to take up lodging in your temple, he will no longer be, I guess I'll let him by. I want this guest, this G-U-E-S-T, to stay always. And so, hallelujah. In other words, you don't want him to leave. And so, let me, let me use for a thought this morning. I, oh, God, I thank you. Guess who's coming to dinner? Hallelujah. Hey, somebody's going to show up. 
And when he comes, he's bringing salvation into my house. And I don't want you to leave. The Bible says, hallelujah, ask and it shall be given. Hallelujah. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door will be opened. And it goes on to say, if ye ask it, for everyone that ask it, they receive it. And he that seek it, find it. And him that knock it, it shall be open. Because you let the guests come over to dinner, now the door is open. Because you let the guests come over to the house, now the windows are shot up. Because you let the guests come over to the house, now my heart can no longer be overwhelmed because the rock is in my house. Hallelujah. And so... I want to say to somebody this morning, hallelujah, by the power of the Holy Ghost, it's time for you uh, to let him on in. He look, look, in this case, the provision was made. The fact that you're here today and you're under the sound of my voice and God got me reminding you, the provision has already been made. See, some of y'all standing by, the tree is there. Oh God, the branches is there and you will climb up in the tree so you can see him. But you better start climbing up in the tree that you may see the Lord, that you can see Jesus. You begin to feel him. I love the fact that Jesus, the very person nobody want him to deal with, he didn't say, Lord, I heard you doing all these things and I want you to come over and show up at my house. He said, Zacchaeus, this day, I'm going to abide in thy house. So for many of you, God has, listen, he has already made multiple invitations. He has already said, I want to come over. I'm waiting for you to open the door. He's already said, the fact that he delivered you, he said, I've already made the way. I'm waiting for you to open the door. Let me talk for a minute. And so, you sit there, hallelujah, you side the road. Listen, even Zach is a case who was supposed to be a sinner in the public and nobody, he, it was something about Jesus, God, I think. Yeah. I, he coming to town, he passing through. I, I'm a little man, but let, I got to get where I can see him. If I can just lay my eyes on him, I can just make contact with him. Hallelujah. And let me tell you this, if you would get up in the tree, and begin to look for Jesus. He'll treat you just like he did Zacchaeus. The Bible said that he looked up and he said, I saw him. The Bible said he looked up and saw him in the tree and he called out to him. So some of you, God is looking at you. Hey, he passing by. He walking through. He waiting for you to get up in the tree and make eye contact. If you make eye contact, if you get in the power of the Lord, you'll begin, hallelujah, to see him. He'll begin to touch you. He'll make more provisions. He'll make more ways. He'll open more doors. He'll heal more bodies. He'll change more minds. He'll fix situations. And you ought to be excited. What did I say this morning? Guess who's coming to dinner? Hey, I wasn't sure that I wanted him to come. So I would say, well, maybe. I don't know. But then I said, this guest is the master lamb of God. This guest got all power in his hand. This guest already healed the sick. This guest already fed 4,000. This guest can feed 5,000. This guest can heal your body. This guest can save your soul. This guest can change your mind. This guest... And I leave with this. He said, salvation... Oh! has come to your house. In other words, deliverance, freedom, liberty, in Jesus, power, Holy Ghost, it has now come into your house. You invite him in. Yeah. 
He said, what? Listen, the house, let me say this to somebody this morning. I'm talking about your body, your temple. Your house was designed. Oh! Your house was designed for Jesus to take up residence in your house. Your house was designed for him to live within you. If you don't believe in the word of God, say what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? And as long as you continue to not be a, 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 a giver of hospitality, let me say it that way, you want to come over as long as you're going to continue to not be a giver of hospitality. What do I mean by that? He wants to come over, but you ain't got him prepared for him. You said you want me to come, but you ain't got no room ready for me yet. You ain't got no way for me to lay down my head at. Ain't no food in the refrigerator. But you claim you wanted me to come. Let me tell you how to stock up your inventory, oh Jesus. You get in God's word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and His Word became flesh. If you put God's Word into your body, your, what's the room called now? We put all the, you put the things, the, the storage called you, you put the cereals and stuff in there. Pantry, yeah, 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 that's it. If you keep reading God's Word, the pantry will be full. Every shelf will be laid. When you get to your spiritual refrigerator and open the door, you'll be, it'll be so much in there that you'll be standing there looking. I got so much stored up, I can choose what I want to eat. Today, I'm choosing to say hallelujah. Tomorrow, I'm choosing to say thank you, Jesus. The next day, I'm choosing to say bless your name. The next day, I'm good to say, Lord, I love you. Now, look who came over. He said, salvation. It's coming in your house. Salvation wants to come into this house. It wants to walk with you. The old song said, it wants to talk with you. It wants to be with you. What the old song said, he walks with me. And he talks with me. Then he makes it perfect. He tells me that I'm his own. He's not cheating on you. Oh God, hallelujah. He's not cheating on you. He giving you all the attention that you need. All the provision that you want to have. Hallelujah. And let me tell you somebody this morning, we're going to pray. Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus was a sinner. He was a publican. But Jesus said, you the reason why I came. I came that people might be saved. I don't want y'all to get it twisted that when you get saved, if you, if you say it right now, that that was the end. The reason, the reason why Christ came is so you cannot, so you no longer be a sinner and become saved. And now that you get saved, you ain't supposed to forget that the purpose that God came and start closing off from the world. Jesus went right in the sinner's house. I tell you strongly, Hallelujah. I don't have to act crazy because I'm saved when somebody else, when some sinner's around. You ain't got to be on the job acting fool. You ain't got to be on there with a sign on telling everybody else they're going to hell. Just live, just live right. The Jesus in me is going to enter that job, going to enter that plant, enter that field. 
not only salvation but Jesus has come into this house I'm not going to claim anything less than what God has for me come on give God some more give God some praise come on standing on the building be able to stand hallelujah Hallelujah. Are you ready to make a change? Huh? Are you ready to let him into your house? Are you ready to let him come over? Don't be like, it's funny how Jesus had all the trouble with the people that supposedly had known the law. The people that was claiming to be saved, they were the one always trying to pull on him. They were always the one trying to say, what you're doing is not right. Like he didn't know why he came. I'm telling somebody this morning, your condition, there's no sin that he can deliver you from. I'm going to say that again. There's breath in your body, no matter what you've already done. There's an opportunity here for you to come to Jesus. You hear what I'm telling you? He said in his word, he would not leave us hopeless. We're going to pray. I want you to think about, I want you to visualize you opening them doors. I want you to visualize and think about, I want to think about this too. Somebody, when somebody come by the house you wasn't expecting or somebody come by soliciting something, you may open the door, but you stand in the way before you let them in the house. Huh? Y'all know y'all did that before. And some of you, people, you didn't let them, you didn't open the door, you went outside. Instead of me opening the door with you looking at me, instead of you letting you, I'm going to come outside and I'll talk to you outside. Because I'm not sure if I want to let you in my house. But spiritually, I want you, I want you to open the door and get out the way. Hear what I'm telling you? I want you to open the door and not only make, uh, get, get out the way and let him come in. Let him work on you. Let him in today. He's already invited himself, just like he did with Zacchaeus. He wants to come in. He already invited himself. Ask, seek, knock. A repetitive invitation. you waiting on somebody else. You don't need anybody else. It's just you and him. So right now, get on your mind and we seek the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you right now as humble as we know how. And your people, oh God, today is in need of some changes in their heart, in their mind, that they may seek you with their whole heart. God, help us to no longer give you part of what you desire, partial, a portion of ourselves, and it's not complete. But help us to surrender completely to your will. Help us to accept your invitation. Help us to do like Zacchaeus and make haste and come down. Get where you can see him. Make haste and make provision. Even in the homes of your people, God. The things that they're silent about and not sharing. God, we pray that you intercede, hallelujah, and grant peace there where there's contention. 
Make the rough places plain. Help us to see you in all that we do. And help us, God, today that whatever the one thing is in the mind of someone today that's hindering them from fully committing to you, Lord, if it be thy will, help them to overcome your word declared that through you we are more than conquerors. And somebody this morning need help overcoming that one thing that got them beset, that one condition that got them troubled, that one thing that's blocking them from connecting with you. Help us to move forward, oh God. Reveal that through your power. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Come on, give God some, give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God is good. God is good. But you got to believe. Invitation's been made. And maybe somebody this morning need to be assured that God will do what he say. Hallelujah. I feel a praise in my heart as I get ready to go home this morning. We get ready to dismiss. I feel a praise in my heart. I'm going to sing a little bit of a song. If I got a little bit of voice left, y'all sing with me. We sing from time to time. It says, I believe that God will do what he said. I believe God will do what he said. Lose to be alone. Lose to be alone. Lose to be alone. 